Well, you, you come to Frightmare in the Falls, you never know who you're going to run into. <laughs> Been a fan for years. Oh, thank you. My favorite Buffy of all time, I, I got to say that. Thank you. How does it feel? That's to what my mom says, too. Does she? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. well, yeah, she, she got good taste. <laughs> How does it feel to still uh, have people come up to you and talk about that, talk about certain scenes and, and, and different movies you've done? Well, uh, I have to say that I love it. I, I mean, I was 22 when I made Buffy the Vampire Slayer, so to be recognized at 53, almost 54, and you're like, oh, yeah, that's Buffy, you know? So I'm, like, kind of happy about that. <laughs> it doesn't bother me. You look me. the same, I think. Oh, thank you. But I... I um, I gotta say, you know, because I started acting when I was nine, back in the late 70s and 80s, like, we didn't have shows like this. We couldn't meet our fans in this way. Like, you would get um, fan mail, you know, and then you'd write back, and, you know, it's always nice to interact with your fans or have a president of your fan club, blah, blah, blah. But when these shows came about where you could actually, it's so interactive and you can meet each other face to face. And I've had some very special stories, like, you know, with people just saying, oh my God, you made me laugh so hard, you know? Mm. That makes me feel good that I did my job entertaining them, or I've even had girls that looked up to Buffy so much like they went through some really really hard stuff of bullying or 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 eating disorder whatever as a teenager and that movie like really helped them empower them and and when I hear those stories and they'll be crying telling me those stories and I, and I'm just so like I'm so in awe of that because I'm just like you look you're healed you're so brave to even share that story with me is so amazing you know what I mean so I really am appreciative of the fans and getting to meet them and hang out with them and joke around and it's fun yeah, yeah. and so many levels on that one one of the persons that I will never forget is the, the Pee Wee Herman scene in the movie oh, wow. was fantastic yeah that's that's the best scene in the film and I got to tell you there's an outtake of that so that there's an outtake that's even longer. Okay. <laughs> it goes on and on and on and on. So, um, yeah, I got to dig that up from somewhere, see if I can, like, somehow get it on the Internet for people to see. Because it Did was... you used to hang out with them? Only not hang out with them, but still yeah, be in contact with friends, them? Yeah, we've been friends ever since, you know? So it was really hard when I heard that news. Um, same with Luke. Yes. So it's... It's really hard when you, you know, you lose your friends and, you know, something that's from such a great memory and uh, I always look forward to Paul's Christmas cards or every once in a while, not every year because then I would be on to him, but he would always get me on like, you know, April Fool's Day or something, you know, um, always a birthday message. Like he, he is just a great friend. So. Yeah, yeah, that's that's great stuff. Yeah. Um, and I wanted to ask you, you've done, I mean, so many movies that we remember over the years. Mm -hmm. Then you put on skates, and you're oh, yeah. you're now part Canadian. I am. I'm married to a Canadian, Lloyd Eisler. He's with me on this okay. trip. Um, yeah, he's he's uh, yeah, he and Isabel Brasseur are very well known in Canada <laughs> uh, for being a, a great pair team. Uh, they medaled and they skated for Canada and medaled in 92 and 94 and uh, and yeah I, I, I think it was 2005 2006 that I did that show called skating with celebrities and yeah <laughs> were you were you a big skater at the time or did you say to your agent what are we doing here <laughs> um, I was an actor and uh, I, I did grow up in the skating world because my brother was a skater so I was like the five I was five years younger than him so when I was five years old I was going to the rink at five in the morning before school when he was training so I learned to skate when I was very young but I mean I didn't skate anymore you know in my older years and so when I did that show I, I had to rely on my dance background my skating like I could skate forwards and backwards when I got there but you know super stiff you know yeah. and then uh, martial arts my athleticism and my mantra to myself was like what John Wayne always said, you don't have to know how to ride a horse, you just have to make it look like you know how to ride a horse. And that was my mantra to myself every day. And then I ended up winning the show, so it worked out. Yeah, there was yeah. no hockey stick, no steak to throw, no. but you did a great job. Yeah. <laughs> I know, it was fun. It was a really fun show. It was the hardest thing that I ever had to do physically, absolutely. Harder than the, the Buffy flips and everything you did? Oh yeah, yeah. Because I mean, I, in Buffy training I only did five days two hours a day so only 10 hours of actual 
train. I think the cheerleading dance was harder than doing all the stunts with with Buffy and the kicks and the mm -hmm. and the training like that. Like I love I love doing that. Like even the skating, pair skating is super you know like it's stunts it's like throws and 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 lifts love doing that but the you know ice princess like that stuff that was really uncomfortable for me <laughs> so. well thanks so much for thank doing this you. welcome back to canada thank you uh it's and been a while since yeah I've been here yeah i love it here so thank take, you take care nice to yeah, meet you nice to meet you